Hello folks, this is Who Did Your Boycott Today. This is part two of my re-recording of my Twitter space on the 29th of October, 2023. This is for my uh, records. Uh, so when I uh, pass on from this world, I can uh, pass this on to my daughter. And this can be a record of where I stood in, uh, in my own voice of what I stood on, the truth and honesty, and I want it to be recorded. So I want to thank you for taking the time to listen, and uh, here's the second part. Brother Tannen Andrew has over 31 years of life experience. Over 31 years of life experience and two degrees. He had, he simply is doing this to help his community and to help others. This brother has skin in the game. He has over $400,000 of his own money in the co-op, but he don't need this. He don't need to set up this co-op. He's trying to be the first black co-op to make it to Wall Street. And all of us on Twitter could have helped out with that by simply clicking a link and joining. All of you persons who heard me say it out my mouth and don't don't sit up there and claim that you did not hear me say it because I know you heard me say it. A lot of you heard me many times mention that consumer cooperative group. And uh, you could have joined. And it would have been a game changer for our community. It would have gave us collective power, collective leverage, leverage if folks would have cared enough to join. But no, that was asking too much. That would have got in the way of folks' self-interest and self-agendas. Brother Tennant Andrews clearly has laid out a blueprint to improve our life, our day-to-day -day life. If you don't believe that, you could have joined for free and checked it out. And you wouldn't have to take my words that are coming out of my mouth. You would have been able to check it out for free. And I'm, I'm ready to bet my life on it that you could not have checked it out for free and not have walked away with that understanding. I'm willing to bet my life on that. I'm willing to bet my life on it because any person that spent any amount of time looking over that website and look, listening, watching those videos and coming to the meetings, we had meetings on Saturdays from from noon time to 4, 4 p.m. We haven't had a meeting uh, recently, but we were having regular meetings on Saturdays from noon time to 4 p.m. regularly so that you could ask any questions that you had, or get better understanding or get help if you felt that you needed help understanding something. Uh, the Consumer Cooperative Group is simply investing in turnkey real estate. That's all the, the co-op is combining our skills and talents and creativities of each of the members to build a cooperative, a co-op co that is going to uh, earn shares from a investing in turnkey real estate. That's one side of the co-op. The other side of the co-op that is going to Wall Street, that's separate from the membership side. The, the side of the co-op that, that they are working towards being the first black co-op to make it to Wall Street, that's a separate side of the consumer cooperative group. It's two, two sides to the cooperative, consumer cooperative group. I have invested on both sides. I have 
in on both sides, but I also have received over 325,000 shares, over 325,000 shares free from Tenon Andrew because I watched the video content. I followed them on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. So the software that they use to track everything that you do, I was rewarded for my activity because the software that they use tracks everything, every little thing that you do, the length of time that you spend watching videos, uh, the, uh, whether you are following the other co-op members, whether you are engaging on the co-op, whether you are filling out your your back office dashboard of your profile, just simply filling out your profile with your picture and your description of your bio and adding, you know, image of uh, uh, on your profile, filling out your description inf information and uploading any type of content that you want in your back office. Every, just about anything that you need to, uh, it's in your back office when you log into your, your, your account, when you log into the membership website. All of that is in your back office, whether you want to start a business, whether you want to share articles or different posts or videos with other members, uh, all of that's in one central location for each of the, the co-op members. It's nothing. If you want... They, Tenant even offered the ability for you to have, to bring your own domain over your own. If you have a website or a business, you can bring all that information over, tra transfer it over to the co-op, and they'll help. They'll get it set up, and just like that simple. But you don't have to do it. You can leave everything like you have it, and you still could benefit from the core. But the Negroes turned all of that down. And Aeon, I offered to pay the first half of her half of the cost of that one hundred twenty dollars one hundred twenty dollars for the first year, which would have earned her twelve hundred shares in the co-op that would have been hers. For the rest of her life, I was going to pay half of that cost because she had lost her job. So I am still being made out to be the bad person. Aqualine, who did you boycott today? It's being painted and folks are running around here painting this narrative that I'm the bad person. It started with body optometry slash Josh Twitter space that happened on the, what day did that space happen? Uh, I think it was uh, September, October. I'm, I, I have the, uh, the 10 part audio response to body optometry, Sage Dream and Aon slash ANDL. I spent days and made 10 separate audio in response to their lies and character assassination that I believe that space was open on the 20 of 20, 20 of August of 2023 I think it was I may have a date wrong but I certainly have each one of those audios on my podcast each one of the audios in my response to their lies. They sat in a Twitter space for over two hours. For over two hours, Body Up Tomistry, Sage Dream, and Aeon slash A and D L and Val was there on the stage that day. She didn't come off of her microphone, but she was present. They, the three of these persons, sat in a Twitter space for over two hours lying on me and character assassinating my reputation and my character. 
and you know, they said chew out their mouth during those two hours, over two hours, was that Sage Dream. Sage Dream helped me get a EIN number, which I already knew how to, I had gotten one back in 2003. I reached out to her and we spent maybe 30 minutes on the phone with each other. And the only reason why I felt the need to reach out to her because I seen eight choices on the IRS website and I didn't know which one to choose because it had been so long when I did mine back in 2003 when I started my own independent contract driving business. So just to be on the safe side, I reached out to her to walk me through it, to make sure I picked the right one. And that's all she really helped me do. But listen to her. She tells folks in the Josh space, body up Thomasry, that she helped me with my boycott. Well, she hasn't even joined. She didn't join the one on minds.com and she didn't join the website one that I built. But she sat in that space and told anyone that would listen to that space that she had helped me with my boycott. When I had launched my first boycott in February of 2022, before I ever heard of her, I launched the second one, February of 2023, and she never, never joined after I had sent her DM message at the DM message at the DM message with the direct link. She never, never joined. She never joined the minds.com, any of the 50 boycott groups or the national boycott group. So when I got all of the uh, complaints from them that it was just confusing for them to join minds.com. I decided to build a website and make it really simple where you just type in an email address. She never did that. So um, I just really wanted to uh, have a come to Jesus moment because in less than a year, all of us are getting ready to pay the price. Boycotting is the only thing to force and apply enough pressure to America to pay the debt. Boycotting. And and OG is not complicated. Any of you folks who are painting this narrative about we we got to be organized perfectly you don't have to be organized perfectly that's a lame excuse for not having the discipline and the backbone to try to do it it's just a lame excuse for any of you persons who are still saying that today because if we hope to see one red penny one red nickel one red dime King, if we ever hope for America to meet those two demands, we are going to have to boycott. Voting is not going to do it. Protest is not going to do it. Praying is not going to do it. Pull-ups are not going to do it. Emailing your congresspersons, your pers- your your persons at the local, state, and federal level is not going to do it. Calling them is not going to do it. Don't y'all, aren't y'all intelligent adults? Don't you know that these these government representatives have folks are screening their emails and phone calls? Uh, newsflash, Miss Gazelle. And the rest of you who are, are also asking folks to use their valuable time to email these representatives. You do know that they have someone screening their emails. They have someone 
screening their phone calls. Because I have called a couple of these representatives' office, and there, there's somebody sitting there by the phone answering their phone calls and saying, I delivered a message to them. Do you really think, do you really think they deliver those messages to those those government persons? Do you really, do you really believe that? If you, you're lying to yourself. And I know, I know folks have better common sense than that. That they're screening their emails that folks send them. They're screening the phone calls that come in. But the one thing they cannot control is boycotting. But you folks despise my gut so bad, especially the, the, the folks in the Negro space. The folks in the Negro space. I mean, they talk to Kate. They really do. They really do. They're perpetrating this fraud and running around here painting this negative narrative about me when uh, the only disagreement that I had with the uh, Negro Twitter space was that I complained that they were not supporting the all audio book spaces that I was opening. They were not supporting the boycott that I had launched. Uh, and they uh, complained when I uh, went out on the limb and asked the founder of the co-op to come over to Twitter to answer their questions. And when I told, when I posted that information in the group chat they didn't even have the audacity to respond they didn't even take the time to respond i simply put a message in the group chat asking them which day would be good once i once once i heard back from the co from the founder i immediately sent sage dream a direct message asking her since she was the one crying the hardest that she felt that she needed to needed the, the founder to come over to Twitter and answer her question, I sent her a direct message. She never responded. I put a message in the group chat and uh, La Farmer had the audacity to tell me that, oh, we don't, we, why are you trying to get up some old, some old mom a babble that I was trying to force them to trust this, this, this brother? Some excuse, some lame excuse. That's when the farmer and, and myself disagreement started. That's when it started. And he ain't never got over it. And uh, they they painted this narrative. Aeon even said out her darn mouth that I got bent out of shape because they wouldn't join the co-op. No, I didn't get bent out of shape, lady. Don't paint that line narrative. I simply had found out about some information that I thought could help each of us improve our day-to-day -day life and our financial education and financial security. So I shared it with each of you. The same way each of you were sharing information, I shared that. I didn't get bent out of shape because you did not join. I got bent out of shape because you're, you're laying line excuses. Because it's no reason why you couldn't have taken 30 minutes out of your busy life to, to watch a couple of videos on YouTube and learn more, to, more about that co-op. It wouldn't have helped me. It wouldn't have helped Brother Tanner. It would have helped your family and yourself. Or you could have clicked the website link and spent 30 minutes out of all those months in all those hours that we spent together. I mean, I sat in Twitter spaces with most of you for six hours straight, 12 hours straight, 18 hours straight, almost 24 hours straight. So you telling me that you couldn't find 30 minutes to check out that co-op, but then you want to run around Twitter. Who did you boycott is being, is complaining. And, and, and she's being difficult. She's not listening to folks. When when folks get the true facts, they don't they don't pan out. 
when they really the lies coming out of y'all mouth, they're not gonna stand the test of time. That's what I'm here to do today. To set the record straight. It's if they are listening to any lies coming out of your mouth, I'm here to set the record straight. That the first thing that we had a disagreement about was that you, each of you Negroes, were not coming into my audiobook room space on Twitter. The second thing was that you did not want to support the boycott, the national boycott that I had launched that we asked you to stay off of five Twitter platforms, five social media platforms twice a month. You didn't want to support that. So I complained about it. So y'all made me out to be the, be the bad villain, villain. That's number two. Number three, I shared information about the consumer cooperative group. I even opened a Twitter space and tried to answer your questions. I even reached out to the founder and asked of his precious time to come over and try to answer y'all questions. And when he responded to me, I asked each of you in the group chat which day would be good for all of you, and no one replied. So those are the first three things. But really what caused the separation was Aeon. Aeon got mad at me because uh, me and her had a disagreement about the use of the word hate. And we had a disagreement about the use of the word white supremacy. I tried to explain to Aeon that I do not use the word hate in my vocabulary if I can help it. I also explained to Aeon I had a different perspective than her perspective and Talon's perspective. And they got bent out of shape about it. I had a different perspective about the word white supremacy than Aeon and Talon had. And so that's when Talent, New Negro Republic, started blowing up my DMs, complaining that I was being mean to uh, other Negroes. Sage Dream even threatened me in my notification that she had receipts that she was going to post about me. See, they, I'm sure they haven't told any of you these details. They left out, they conveniently left out these details. But I have the DM messages on all of them. I have each of the DM messages. Aeon went into body optometry slash Josh space and told everybody in that space that I had attacked her in the NOI space when uh, I still have the DM link that I sent her. I never opened my mouth that day when I sent her that DM trying to explain to her my perspective about the word white supremacy but she twisted the narrative and told everyone in that space where they were character assassinating me for over two hours that i had attacked her in the noi space well if that lady tomorrow record her twitter spaces go back and find that space that day because i can give you the date that i sent her the link of the audio space that I had made. I simply sent her a 59 minute audio space of me giving her my perspective about the word white supremacy and she twisted it into me attacking her. That's what she did. And it, by me simply sending her that link, Sage Dream sent me threats and my notifications. Body Op optometry Josh body optometry Josh opened a Twitter space and attacked my character and reputation for over two hours that's what these three persons did with their sidekick Val because she was present she didn't come off the microphone and say anything that day but she was present and never came off the microphone and said anything to them the same way I Responded to talent, New Negro Republic. It's no way any person can listen to that space with over two hours that I listened to 
and not do a fair evaluation that each of those three persons were in there for one sole purpose to care to assassinate the person they were talking about. So I asked Talon, New Negro Republic, had he listened to that space, he never did respond to me. Because I clearly know that I did not attack Aeon. I never did anything to any person in the Negro space other than the things that I have mentioned on this audio. I never done anything mean spirit or uh, said anything. Uh, lied on a lot about anything about them. Never did anything other than do my absolute best to support what they were doing. And they got bent out of shape when I pointed out that they were not supporting me in return. That's simply what caused the separation. That was what caused the separation of myself, who did you boycott today, and other Negroes. They'll never tell you that true fact. They'll never admit to that true fact, but that is what happened. And I'm tired. I'm completely fed up with folks running around here painting a narrative about me. I heard that sorry, sorry human being by the name of a farmer. Because, see, they're going to paint all these narratives. I'm crazy because I wouldn't let them. Uh, I complained that they didn't support the audio book spaces that I opened. I'm crazy because they didn't support the boycott that I had launched. I'm crazy because I had tried to share the consumer cooperative group information with them and tried my best to answer their questions. I'm crazy because I shared that with them. I'm crazy because I disagree with Aeon about a word hate. I'm crazy, La Farmer, because I disagree with Aeon about the word, Aeon and Talon about the word white supremacy. So when you're telling the darn narrative, make sure you tell the truth, La Farmer. While you opening your spaces on Twitter and you're painting a negative narrative about me, tell them the truth. Because, see, I got the receipts. La Farmer, Talent. New Negro Republic, Body Optometry, Sage Dream, OG, Aon slash A-N-D-L, the, ne the Negro Mul Mulatto, D-A-T underscore Negro Mulatto, uh, Vow, Love I Am, I Am, uh, irritated. Oh, you got some new new folks over there now in the Negro space. And I'm sure you done done a very, very, very good job of painting this lying narrative about my character and my reputation. But I don't give a darn. I really don't give a darn. Y'all can feed each other egos and, and paint these half truths and and false narratives and outright lies until you choke on them. I really don't give a darn because they don't serve nothing but your own egos and self-interest and self-agendas. It don't stop me from breathing. It don't stop me from breathing. So y'all can keep on doing it until you pass out. Because I know the truth. I got DM messages to back up the receipts of what I have explained on this audio. I have the DL messages. I didn't delete any of them. I didn't delete not one of them. That can back up everything that I have said out my mouth. I have the DL messages in my DM. I have them. I never deleted them. You folks made a personal choice not to support the boycott that I had launched. You each made that personal choice. And the lame excuses that you gave 
someday you're going to think about it. Someday down the road, five or ten years from now, you're going to think about it. Because they were lame excuses, and you know it. You can't explain those excuses to any fair-minded person, and they agree with you. You wouldn't be able to explain those excuses to a panel of fair-minded, neutral person, and they would agree with you. And you know, and you know that. But you're still running around here painting this narrative about me. And now you got La Farmer on a Twitter space calling me crazy. I could I could say a lot of names about each of you, but I don't I don't I don't lower my standards to, to that to in that way. I only stick to the facts. I don't have to iron out dirty laundry to uh, to stand on honesty and truth. I learned that in junior high school. I learned that in senior high school. I don't have to stoop to that level. I don't have to stoop to that level stand on truth and honesty. I just have to state the facts and the truth. And you folks have to stoop to that level because you don't have facts and truth on your side and honesty. But I don't have to go there. I could. I could easily go there just snapping my finger. But I won't allow each of you to try to lower my standards of my character by stooping to the level of each of yours, each individual, each of you individual character. I would not go there with you. I let you be in that little camp and club all by yourself. I'm not joining you. I'm going to simply stick to the facts and stand on truth and honesty. I'm going to simply stick to the facts and stand on truth and honesty. And uh, I want to make it very clear. If, while y'all spending all this time, all this time, all this time, going over all this history about uh, the harm done to us, it's good. It's necessary for the consciousness to uncover and research the history and, and cover all these books and, and have all these Twitter spaces that have constructive conversation. They are all part of the of the equation. But the only thing that is going to force America to re-implement Special Field Order 15 and sign executive order to uh, set up direct cash payments through the IRS is boycotting. It's boycotting. And unless folks look in that mirror, each person that come on Twitter day after day, and you know who you are, every one of you that come on Twitter or come on Facebook or come on Instagram or come on YouTube or come on Clubhouse, who come on fan base, who use links in Tumblr and all these other social media platforms. Every time you click on the app and spend time on those social media platforms, you are making a decision to relinquish your power. Because uh, America is never going to pay, never going to re-implement Special Field Order 15 and set up and sign an executive order with the IRS to pay reparations, cash payments, unless we boycott. That's just a simple cut and dry bottom line. And it don't have to be complicated, OG. It don't have to be complicated. All you folks who keep making these excuses. Yes, it's not going to be perfectly organized on day one, day seven, day 15. 
it's not going to be perfectly organized, but you got to start somewhere. You got to stop making these darn lame excuses. They're weak. They're spineless. But if you hope, if you're hoping and praying to see one red nickel, one red dime, or if you're hoping that the special field order 15 is going to get re-implemented and that IRS is going to send out cash payment, you're going to have to apply a boycott until it forces America to come to the table and deliver those demands. It's never going to happen any other way. And it's very simple. Out of all these Twitter spaces that get open day after day, it would simply take us all agreeing to stay off of Twitter for one week at a time. If that didn't get their attention, stay off two weeks. If that didn't get their attention, stay off three weeks. If that don't get their attention, stay off four weeks. Just from those of us who know each other on Twitter, it could be a testing ground to see how it works and what kind of response it get. It could be the test, test, testing ground. We'll test it over here on Twitter for one week and see if we, if you make the MSNBC news or the CNN news or the Fox news, if you stay off of it for seven days and you don't make the news station, stay off another seven days. If that don't work, stay off another seven days that don't work excuse me stay off another seven days see how easy that is OG see how easy that is La Farmer see how easy that is the Negroes in the Negro space who did not want to support the boycott that I had launched see how easy that is but y'all didn't want to do that you didn't want to make that sacrifice. You didn't want to have that discipline to do that just two days out of a month to try it out. If America don't come to the table after testing it on Twitter, expand it to another platform. Add, add a, a, another platform. Tr- start it on, on Twitter. If, they don't, if it don't get their attention, if it don't apply enough pressure, include Facebook and duplicate that from platform to platform until they come to the table. I'm guaranteeing, I'm willing to bet my right arm, they'll come to that table before the election of 2024. But that's going to take some backbone and spine for, uh, for those persons who use these social media platforms regularly. See, because one thing about Negroes, when we see some of us, when we see a good percent of us doing something, we start copying it. So, Negroes started out, you started out on Twitter, and then those Negroes who use Instagram regularly is going to hear about it, and they're going to want to do it. Those Negroes who use Facebook regularly are going to, and they're going to want to do it. Those Negroes who use YouTube regularly is going to hear about what the Negroes on Twitter are doing to apply pressure to America by boycotting, they're going to want to copy it too. Because that's how our community vibe with each other and connect with each other. We see each other doing something positive and we catch on to it and we start doing it too. That's just how we have always vibe with each other. We see one person over here or maybe four or five persons over here doing something positive. And before you know it, it spreads like wildfire. That's an unspoken communication line that we have with one another. So folks are going to have to make a difficult choice here. They got the clock is ticking. If you hope to see one red nickel, if you hope to 
pray that Special Field Order 15 get re-implemented and that sorry walking dead Joe Biden sign executive order to implement IRS direct cash payments in the amount between two million and five million per person before the election of 2024. Make those clear demands. The clear demand should be re-implement Special Field Order 15 ASAP. Demand number two should be contact IRS the same way you contacted IRS to set up the stimulus checks and sign executive order for direct cash payments in the amount up to $5 million per descendant. What is complicated about that? Those should be the laser-focused demands that all of us get behind. Because if we don't get behind those two demands and keep it simple, we will never, never, never see one red dime. The only folks who are going to keep on collecting the bag of money is going to be Freeman. It's going to be all these scammers and hustlers. The rest of us are going to continue to die, going to continue to go hungry night after night, going to continue to go homeless, while just a small percent of folks get the bag of money. When we have the power to force America to do this, I think it can get done in 30 days. I think if it doesn't force them to the table in 30 days by just starting out on Twitter, by the time when we start including some of these other platforms, oh, they, it's going to get their attention real fast. It's going to get their attention real fast. But it's going to take some backbone and spine from the, the Negro descendants. If we don't have that backbone and spine, we are never, never, never going to see one red dime. I've been preaching this since February of 2022. I have been preaching this same narrative since February of 2022. Well, the window is closing. If we don't get this accomplished before the election of 2024, we can forget about it. But we have the ability and the power in our corner. Now, the only thing left to see is whether we're going to have the backbone and the spine to get it done. I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting to see if that's going to... Uh, show up. I haven't seen that yet. I'm waiting. And the clock is ticking. The clock is clearly ticking that we get this done before the election of 2024. We should set a deadline June, June of 2024. Just give us a window of a couple of months to make some some tweaking, some 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 things that we may not have thought about We'll have a couple of months there to uh, give it our last, shot, our last shot. But we got until June of 2024 to apply enough pressure, apply enough pressure, apply enough pressure with a boycott. And, the, and we can do the simplest boycotts on God's green earth. And that is boycotting these social media platforms. Facebook is not going to want to lose revenue. Elon Musk of Twitter is not going to want to lose revenue. YouTube is not going to want to lose revenue. Of course, your brain dead folks are going to say, we are never going to be able to get everybody to, to agree to naturally not. Only enough of us have to do it. And that's doable. It's going to be perfect. We are never going to be able to organize a perfect boycott. And it would not work with 
targeting Walmart or any of these other things, but we have the perfect thing to get this job done in a very, very fast way, and that's social media. It's right in the palm of our hands. Only thing stopping us now is whether we have the backbone and the spine to do it. It's nothing else standing in our way. It's absolutely nothing else standing in our way. So don't give these lame excuses that everybody is not going to do it. Of course, everybody is not going to do it. But enough people will do it. Enough people will do it. Y'all just don't want to stay off of these social media platforms. They are so important to you that you just keep telling yourself that it's not doable. But you're lying to yourself. You're lying to yourself and you're sacrificing your your future, your kids' future, and their kids' future. So let's be crystal clear what's at stake here while you're making these lame excuses. Your future, your child's future, and their kids' future is at stake. So if you will if you're okay with swallowing that and you can sleep like a baby, then knock yourself out. But it's no excuse for why we cannot use these social media platforms to force America to pay that debt. Because we have the power in our hands every time we hold, every time we click on one of these social media apps, we have the power in our hands. We possess the power. I fully understand the power 